What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. I'll be your host. Other people can be your host, too. Oh, what have we got here? <clears throat> metal worker, huh? Fool me once, metal worker. Southern Library seems strong. So does Shifting Ceratops. Evening, Super Fritz. I encountered a rare thing today. A friendly opponent who was losing. It was quite the... I've never heard of such a thing. That sounds wild. I think it's like... I think I like Southern Library here. I think Ceratops is strong. Counterspell strong. There's no counterspell. Jeez. I mean, look. I lament being the, you know, the counterspell guy that just counters all your stuff. But it's a real... If you can't beat him, join him, right? Like, I don't know. Don't draft any white or black cards. I, we'll, we'll try. We'll see. I think it's either Counterspell or Library. I'm going through. I'm going to Counterspell. Omni Science, huh? <clears throat> what about Disallow? Batter Skull seems not great without Stoneforge. But yeah, we're just gonna go second Counterspell. I'm also. I also want to have Mystic Snakes and Frilled Mystics. That's all I want. Do the blue, then you won't get angry. Is that how that works? I do like a Nexus of Fate, like a good deal. I think it's actually real strong. Have you ever disallowed someone's Walker ultimate? I think I probably have before, yeah. I'm going to take Nexus of Fate. What do you got here? Tide Spout Tyrant. That's a card that I like uh, doing, doing things with. I like Through the Breach a lot. I still want to get Through the Breach to work. I also got Ionize here, which is a counterspell. I think I'm going to go through the breach here. I think Ionize is more replaceable, and through the breach has a much higher upside. But again, we want to be playing Frilled Mystics. So. Do, 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 do. Oh, I like a Snappy Boy. Oh yeah, we're definitely taking Snapcaster. <laughs> we already have Disallow Counterspell. Yep, that's uh, easy peasy. So Nexus and Wilderness Wreck are not as good because you just don't have four copies of, of Nexus of Fate. And uh, multiple copies of... I guess you only have one copy of Search for Escanta because huh? it's legendary, so... Temple of Epiphany? Epiphany? Actually, Karanos is probably stronger. I think we're I think this is a great a great reason to play Karanos. Just popping out of event to come say hi. Listen, buddy. It was an honest mistake. The problem is like when you're defending yourself, I can't trust you. You know what I mean? So it's like it doesn't matter how many times you tell me it wasn't you or you didn't do that. Like your goal is to to not to not get caught. 
going to take Thank you to the Shire. You. Oh, what up? What up, Dimitri? If that is your real name. It's not. It's not. We're going to take Ulamog because we have True to Breach. Oh, Monsanto, I was definitely hoping you would not have hard feelings. I'd be like, that's real weird. God, he's real aggressive about it. Um, I do kind of like Teferi here. I don't hate Royal Scions. Yeah, I don't think you should be drafting Shardless Agent with counter spells. Eh, we'll take Planeswalker, sure. Thank you! Oh, not the Plague with the Gifted sub. <laughs> yeah, Angel. Oh, actually, we're not that color. Interesting. We're not any of these colors, really. I'll take Hinterland Harbor. Again, not, nothing. Eh, Tide Spout Tyrant? Sure. None of these, none of these are exciting. And that was a pretty sad, like, last six cards. Uh, I like Jace. I like Sulphur Falls. Fire Confluence is just fantastic. I think it's actually Fiery Confluence here. Yeah, I'll take Fire Confluence. I think we can get more lands. I think there's actually an abundance of lands here. Old Pirates of the Rumble. So Blight Steel. Blight Steel's all right with through the breach. It's not great if they have blockers. Phantasmal Image is decent. Spark Double is decent. I think it's probably Phantasmal Image. We also don't have a Tinker deck, so that's not really an option. I think I'm going to take an Image and Hope Gear Hulk wheels. Oh, Scalding Tarn? Yeah, I'll take a Scalding Tarn. We're not a, we're not an Urza deck. I can see taking Force of Negation, but we are at a point where I'd like to take some lands. I don't really want to just have, you know, nine islands, eight mountains. I had two Kozilex because of the Spark Double. That does seem pretty good. Uh, God, I really like Tropical Island. I feel like it keeps us open for things. I don't like Tezzeret. We're definitely not a ramping blue Sun Zenith deck. Maybe it's just Electrolyze. 
Yeah, electrolyze seems good. Well, Bivouac's fine. Still a dual land. Flash Freeze, again, pretty good. There are a few things it can't counter, which you want to counter, but... Does Candelabra have a use? Yeah, I mean, there's Talarian Academy. I almost like Flash Freeze better, especially because we have Snapcaster. We have five creatures. One of them is an Ulmog. Uh, Forbid was good for us. I'll take Forbid. Zell's Conscripts? Eh. Got a lot of five drops so far. I guess you don't necessarily have to play Teferi, but with this many counter spells, like having Teferi and then having like counter wars, well, they're not, not counter wars all of a sudden after that. Um, Antiquities War, Goblin Dark Dwellers. When I mean, your deck is mostly counter spells, not ideal. Actually, kind of like Walking Ballista here. <laughs> There's the Frilled Mystic that we've been amped about. I wonder if Storm's Wrath is actually any good here. I'm going to take the Storm's Wrath, actually. It's a Wrath of God for a red deck. Do you think you could juice licorice, make some sort of licorice juice? <sighs> Buddy, I hope not. Spellseeker any good? I don't... Eh, I'll just take Locust God. Oh, uh, I actually like Dragon Master Outcast. Oh, what if Thing in the Ice is good? I think Dragon Master is probably better. This card wins the game single-handedly. Uh, fires, I uh, just take Bane Fire, I think. Uh, Tangle Wire, none of these cards are going to make the cut. Nah, you might make the cut, actually. Field of the Dead? Sure. It can go with our Hinterland Harbor Scalding Tarn. <laughs> That'll be good. Force of Will. Oh, Niv Mizzet? Oh, yeah, Niv Mizzet's definitely the card you want. I absolutely love Niv Mizzet as a, as a finisher. David, you are 100% a contrarian, my dude. I love this Ugin, but I think I'm taking Wandering Fumeral here. Yeah, let's take Wandering Fumeral. Really hoping for a Volcanic or a Steam Vents here. Oh, what up, Cheese Wisp? Dark Dwellers is less good without Time Walk and Recall. Same thing with Spell uh, Seeker. Uh, I think both of those are cards that are heavily reliant on um, the power being in the cube. Well, we're not upheavaling here. Gilded Drake is actually pretty okay. Hydro Blast is great for the sideboard. Pact Navigation is nice, nice and safe. I think we're taking Gilded Drake. Is it a man ability? Up to one target creature. 
Oh, if you donor can't make an exchange, you sacrifice it. That's interesting. So you can never, it's never just, a, oh my god, please stop. I don't know what's going on. Magic Online is literally having a friggin' aneurysm. Yeah, I don't think I knew that about um, Gilded Drake. I, I think I, I never actually, there was never a situation where like there wasn't a creature. I guess a, I guess a 3-3 for two is just too good. So there's no way you should just have that, like a 3-3 flyer for two. Um, I like Factor Fiction. I think we're just going to take the land though. As far as card draw goes, what do we have? We have Royal Scions can find us things, Electrolyze. Karanos is great. niv is it's great. I mean, if you want to spend like four mana for a Locust God, we can draw and discard. Make a 1-1. One, one. <clears throat> Which is fine. I don't think it's actually unreasonable. I'm going to take this Force Spike. We're going to get some people with a Force Spike. And it's going to be great. Did I navigate her? Robber of the Rich is okay. Whenever you cast or copy an instant, it deals one damage to target opponent and planeswalker. This is great, but like we just don't have guys to copy it. I think we're just taking Dead Eye Navigator. It's decent with P and Kieran Alar. Thank you! And that's kind of it. I guess it protects Niv Mizzet. It's still a strong card. Another stomping ground. Have not seen any of my preferred lands zimini pot welcome back thank you for the resub buddy really appreciate it as a sorcery this is not great for our deck because we don't have oh my god i didn't want to oh my fucking god <laughs> oh wow i love magic online sometimes it's actually a fantastic uh solid piece of software yep that was fun I think there was actually a land we might have used. Uh, I don't know what it was. It might have been a Triome or something. There was definitely a, a land in that pack. <sighs> That's really frustrating. Yep. So now we're not going to see any other lands, I'm sure. Yeah, take a carry, Zev. She's a 1-3 for 2. She can block things. Uh, Teamer Cube's been fine. Take a pyrokinesis. Yeah. If anybody can clip that, I could love to see what was in that other pack. Eh, pyroclasm seems good. Recruiter, huh? Yeah, that'll get something. Literally these two. It's actually better than I expected. Can't get Gilded Drag. I guess you can image as well to zero zero Drag Master Outcast, Snapcaster. Actually it gets a reasonable amount of creatures out of her deck. So only these three lands, unfortunately. Um, yeah, it's like sad because we just have like Ulamog for through the breach, which makes like I feel like these two aren't even worth it now. It's really this format's really weird. I feel like if you're not playing three colors, it's almost harder to get enough cards in your deck. See, now we have a twenty card deck, and it's like, oh. It's not great. It's weird. We have no ramp, so I don't think Tide Spout Tyrant's what we want. Play Carry Zev. Rift Bolt. Just tempted to play Banefire.
Star Dwellers hit anything. Electrolyze, Rift Bolt now. And that's literally it. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's I don't think it's necessarily worth it. Yeah, I think Banefire is probably the most flexible. Yeah, 8-6 seems good. So it's actually 11-9. Double red, double red, triple red. Like, we still want to have 3-3 three and three for this guy. Play first. Yeah, I'll keep this hand. Did you get that special edition Spider-Man? There's a special edition Spider-Man that came out today? I don't even know what that means. So Menace, don't really feel like that, so we're just going to pass. Well, that's good. I feel like we killed this, but then they have two creatures in there to eat. Orcish Lumberjack. Well, that guy's got to be a problem. Wait. Oh, they're just going to eat a guy. Yeah, sure. I'll just take it. Well, three, four, five. So this puts it up to seven if they play a land. Oh, they can actually just sack a forest. Yep, this is going to be hard to deal with. Pretty sure we're just dead.
Wait, they didn't actually give it protection for everything? That's weird. Freeze guard? I don't think you know what flash freeze does, my dude. <laughs> I'm not sure you know what flash freeze does. Six, seven, yep. What up, Ayakupo? Yeah, Among Us was good times. Centifery packing. Pretty sure we're just getting a mountain, but I don't want to limit my chances of drawing a mountain naturally. This deck, I don't think this deck turned out very good, but we'll see. <clears throat> well, we're not just going to kill a Fauna Shaman out of the blue. <coughs> Uh, Mutual has been at work. Same place he has always been. Interesting. It seems fine. <laughs> I'm not super committed to this carry Zev. Okay. 
well. What are you going to get? Oh, Hex Drinker? Wow, this is actually... See, now we're going to... Now we're going to put all, put all the creatures in their, in their trash cans. And we get to keep up Force Spike. Oh, boy. I'll play a four drop here. <laughs> Gotty. Land? Nope. That would be too good to be true. I mean, if they play like Gargaroth, I'm okay with Gilded Draking it. So, yep. All right. Sounds good. I can have this. And he could have it. It was his. Buongiorno. We have five cards. We have four. Both have four lands and one creature. I think this is my second Garg that I've taken with this card. So... Just wait, you're just playing Walking Bliss for Zero to cycle it? That's interesting. Huh. I'm actually tempted to confluence for three. And just kill both their guys. Or we can just attack, see if they block, and then kill them with fire confluence, I guess. That's probably a little better. Um, let's draw a card. Oh, all right, so they're just dead. Cast. All right, <laughs> that'll do. Most dual sources are tap lands. There's literally, literally the entire cycle of... Of dual face cards that are not tap lands. Did you have a last game when I picked life? I did. I did. So maybe I like pyrokinesis here. It gets rid of quite a few guys. It's kind of better than like Rift Bolt, right? I don't know. We'll see. This hand's good. I feel like Gilded. I feel like Gilded Drake is really good. <laughs> he says of a $250 magic card okay that's really good just need a second red source okay walking brolista for uno I will take two. 
Oh, they didn't have a land there. Well, that's good for us. Not good for them. Let's see if they hit it. Oh, boy. This deck doesn't look that bad. Maybe. I mean, I don't know. I think I got a bad impression from game one when I was like, I have no answer to this thing. I mean, Electrolyze is probably going to let us hit our fifth land, which lets us Teferi. So that sounds pretty okay. This is like a Tireless Tracker. I think we're just going to actually Electrolyze Tireless Tracker here. Yeah, that seems better than Electrolyzing their face. Ooh, another land. Hmm. So now we get to keep up Flash Freeze, Disallow, and Teferi. We'll all be. Second Red Source has been pretty, pretty evasive, but that's not... What's this? Be something I don't care about. What the F? I have like six to seven. <laughs> yes, it's, it is on the reserve list, so it's never getting reprinted. And it's also just really good in like Commander and stuff, so. Gilded Drake. Let's look it up right now. Well, you can get a you can get a heavily played one for like 185. The cheapest lightly played is 210. And then there's one for 250, so. Uh God, do I care about this? I don't even know if I care about this. This is fine. I kind of like I kind of want to I kind of want to hit Storm's Wrath next turn. <sighs> I mean, I don't think they're going to have a way to deal 2 damage with one green. Okay. Let's hit that Domri. Yeah, let's play Carrie Zev here. Hey, Carrie Zev. We can actually pitch Storm's Wrath to Pyrokinesis now because it's just worse for us. Cannot be countered, but can it be stolen? <laughs> yeah, that's fine. And the answer is the answer is yes. That guy is so big. How big is he? Yeah, so this is gonna be actually uh Gilded Drake. Yeah, this is just Uh, cast, target you, okay, rip the wrath, just kill this guy. Alright, so face, face, okay, Domri. Oh, 
Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, I think I only steal Elder Gargaroths with Gilded Drake. <laughs> I burnt. You could make a fortune selling islands to control players. You know how they love those things. They really do. Um, I don't think I care about this, but I kind of do, I guess. It's a four-four, so it's kind of like. Plus, if they play like another thing, and then they just have really good blocks, and that's not ideal for us. Birding is safer than betting. Well, that's good. You always want to be safe. I think they're I think they're typing something about how much they hate me right now. They're probably like, you suck. You counted all my spells and you stole my You stole my thing. I bought the Haichu Mystery Pack, and it's got this year's new flavor. And this year has new flavors? Haichu's released new flavors? That's exciting. They're unsubscribed. Gilded Drake. <laughs> yeah, the best part about Gilded Drake is, like, the green-red deck has ways to deal with, like, enchantments. So, if I treachery or uh control magic you you could just get it back it's very easy but um don't don't do that with gilded drake pernicious dude can you link me i'm gonna i don't know if that's a thing i'm just gonna look it up new high chew flavors <sighs> high chew find your flavor Take a cheat day. Enjoy 21% off site-wide. Oh, my God. When does that offer expire? January 22nd. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. 21% off for, for 2021? That's a, that's a bananas. Dude, I'm just going to... I'm going to go on a high chew buying spree tonight. Oh, they're unannounced, but they're just in the pack. So, it's kind of like you can taste them, but we're not going to tell you specifically what they are. Man, those those marketing geniuses at Haichu. Yeah, I'll keep this in. We're playing against Love Doctor Ryan. <laughs> oh man. Is the Love Doctor in? Oh good. Turn one silver model. I don't know if that's necessarily worth it. I wanna play this because I think it's probably better than just random counterspell it on turn two. Either way, I'm still probably going to go crazy on the Haichu website, so. Oh, exploration. That's still not super exciting, though, so that's good. So now we are going to keep up Counterspell, and then we're going to keep up Snapcaster Counterspell. But I would love to have a second red, so you could see how a Volcanic Island or a Steam Vents would really be choice here. One time I offered my buddy a Mango Haichu, but stuck a Durian Haichu on the top of the stack. There's a Durian Haichu? Is that real? Oh, Haichu Mystery Bundle. Oh, baby. Something tells us... Okay, hold on. We're done with our turn. Something tells us this reveal is going to be a juicy one. will be the first to try our new 2021 products. Two brand new flavors. Oh, man. Three peg bags and six sticks. What do the sticks mean? I don't know what's going on here. I don't think I want you to have this, but then again, can I just counter whatever you cast with this? 
if I sold all my Gilded Drakes, think I could buy all the Haichu? All of the Haichus? Probably not. A lot of Haichus? Yeah, I think so. Um, pfft. yeah, I don't care about this. I'll be honest. You have two cards in hand. That's fine. I really kind of just want to draw a mountain here so I can go get a, you know what? Any land really does it. <laughs> it's not really a, it's not really a contest. <laughs> you talk about high chews. Like I talk about Torchy's Tacos. One of those flavors better be licorice. I guarantee you it's not. Guaranteed. Oh man, Durian Haichu. What a time to be alive, man. Oh yeah, N nah. That's a negative Ghost Rider. Oh, see, look, this is great. Now because we didn't just go fetch our land, now we can easily go get a mountain. We're also at six here. It's pretty good. So now we're just gonna keep a counter spell, Snapcaster. Are you gonna draw draw an extra card? I dare you. Why just why not just munch on a dirty bottle? <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, sure, this Haichu looked benign, even smelled a little like vanilla. It was all white, no different colored center. Biting into it, it was a little tangy, like a yogurt chew, but then the real durian flavor. It's a mix of strawberry and Meyer poi. The onion notes weren't completely revolting. It was like eating ice cream that had been stored in a smelly freezer. Just off, and not something that you'd think flavorologists would slave over. Oh, yeah, we're just going to counter this, too. Sorry. <laughs> didn't mean to... Didn't mean to discourage you there. Well, this game's over. Right? Like, it's literally over, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, right? I mean, play this because it's an extra two damage on here. Like, if they have, like, pyrokinesis or something, like, this information is negligible when it comes to, like, I guess if they have pyrokinesis, they kill, like, Snapcaster. They probably kill Dragonmaster Outcast and Karizev. <sighs> so he didn't see anything small, actually. So I think we're probably fine the way it is. Yeah, all right. Do, 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 do. If this had a second land, I'd probably be in, but it doesn't, so I'm not. This hand's not exciting, so we're going to send back Nexus, probably. Oh, Miripois. Carrots, onions, and celery. Interesting. I did not know that. Deck the holes with bow. Bells of Yeah, sure. You got it. Interesting. Kind of tempted to just play that, but... If we have to Storm his Wrath, I don't really want to lose Dragon Master Outcast. I think it's a solid win condition. <clears throat> oh, 
Oh, good. I like it that they didn't play anything here. That's actually kind of good for us. Hold on one second. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's make a candy for the elderly and call it low chew. What does the low signify, though? I think they, they're, maybe they're worried about counter. Okay. Yep. Okay. This is so weird. Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> Sorry, Katie's going to bed, so I'm just saying goodnight. So I assume they have no more... Oh, they, they might have way more lands, actually. Wait, they're not doing anything still? This is very strange. Land? <sighs> Alright, well, we're both kind of stuck here, but I have a Forbid that I can easily discard two cards to, like a Rift Bolt and a Storm's Wrath, probably. Like, the question is, are both of these cards worth a second Forbid? And I think the answer is very clearly yes. <sighs> Damn it. <laughs> well, now I'm just going to play Dragon Master Outcast. <laughs> Because I'd rather not have to discard something randomly here. I'm also kind of afraid of whatever they may play if we tapped out for this guy. So we might just wait till we get to 8 mana. Got a long game coming. <sighs> yeah, that's fine. <laughs> The problem is if we counter that, they could literally just play, like, Questing Beast or something. We don't have great answers to that other than, like, Storm's Wrath, which I guess is a great answer for that, so. I mean, having Flash Freeze and Snapcaster Flash Freeze is pretty good, so I'm actually just going to suspend this. It's likely going to be one of the cards I'd discard anyway, so. Okay, well, this is probably unable to be... Oh, that's gonna... That's gonna go to the garbage can. Land? Oh, goodness gracious, that's nice. You love to see it. Get in there. Yeah, I'm just gonna pass here. I mean, they have six cards in hand. I'm really not interested in having them just cast whatever seven seven cost monstrosity they have, like Sundering Titan <coughs> or Kogla. These cards are very hard to deal with, so. Yep, that's good. Now we have now we don't really have to do anything. I could have attacked there, but they could have like flash creatures now, so I'm not really super interested in that. Oh, good. <laughs> Dragons cometh. Yep, lands a ho as well. This is this is really good. We uh probably in an unlosable situation at this juncture, but still not gonna attack with this guy. They could have Night Pack Ambusher. They could have I, I don't know how many flash creatures in the deck, but the one damage seems pretty inconsequential. And whatever this is, it's just not gonna Yeah. Uh, flash freeze. Flash freeze. Pew. See, now I'll attack. Maybe this deck was better than I thought. This is 8 damage. 
We have two dragons on the board. Like that. So I think is there a five? We could actually go Phantasm Image, Snapcaster, Rift Bolt them. Uh, but that's not lethal. We could also forbid twice. So there's literally, I'm pretty sure there's nothing they can do here short of like... Eh. Discard, Storm's Wrath, and Phantasmal Image, I guess. It doesn't really matter. Okay. <laughs> Got him. Oh, and a Disallow on top. Maybe this deck is much better than I thought. I have no idea. I'm clearly not not capable <laughs> of evaluating decks. Oh boy. I think you got way too down on this deck after game one. Really? What makes you think that? Tell me more, Monster. No, I think you're 100% correct. Oh, interestingly enough, my my baked macaroni and cheese recipe, I have mustard powder and Frank's hot sauce in the roux and like the cheese mix dip. It's not it's not a dip and it's not a mix. It's just literally the uh, the melted cheese and butter and flour roux that you that you mix with the 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 mac. Oh man, now I want that. <laughs> you mix with the macaronis before you put it in the oven and bake it. <clears throat> Guys, can we talk for a second about these Yeezy 700s that I I want to I want to dislike more than I do, and that I may have entered the raffle for to see if I can grab them? I don't know what to do with them. If if I don't like them, I'll probably just resell them. But for some reason, man, I really I I like this colorway a lot. So <laughs> I don't know, man. We'll see. Do you put that shit on everything? I don't. I I actually put put it on nothing but what I mentioned. So no, no, I don't. Those aren't the worst easies. No, de there's definitely worse easies. Hundred percent. Yeah, the colorway. I actually really like it. I like the blue and the orange and the yellow. Like I like. I think it's a great colorway. I'm gonna really. I'm gonna really have to like. See if I get them. I'm gonna really have to see how they look. But like, it might just be not for me. I don't know. I don't know. But the 700s are really, they're a really pop, they're, they're probably one of the more popular, uh, behind like the 350s, the 700s are probably one of the more popular styles. <clears throat> so, well, we're definitely getting a, an island with this because we already have plenty of Montanias. <laughs> Craft Mac and Yeezys. <laughs> it's on brand. This whole chat is fantastic. If they don't look good on your feet, try them as gloves. Are you just gonna are you gonna fire? Are you gonna ice here? Are we icing? Are you changing your mind and no longer icing? Did you just threaten to ice me? It's wild. Remember that one that other pair you showed us that looked like it was made of trash? I don't think so. Which one was that? I know you're limited on the protein you eat. Do you eat duck? No, I don't. I basically just eat chicken and turkey. Yeah, we're just going to get an island here. How dare you? How friggin' dare you? Man, our one, one of our two non-basics really bit us there, unfortunately. I ain't in the business of holding on to an electrolyze. My hand is not super. Oh, are they going to counter my electrolyze? That would be wild. Oh, no, they're just going to literally crack their fetch in response. In response? I'll crack a fetch. Well, all right. That's your, that is your prerogative, my friend. Oh, 
Okay, so I'm pretty sure they have like Mystic Snake slash other thing in hand. So we're probably just going to keep up. Uh, not going to do anything here. Like, next time we can play Niv Mizuti. Bring back that booty. So that's pretty cool. Oh, they're on the old three color no plays before turn seven plan, I guess. At least we play Electrolyze. Take out my pimples on the trash. Yeah, I'm just going to pass here. Yes. You know what? At the same time, I'll crack my fetch land, so I just have to make one trip to the pen and paper. You know? You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to go over there once. I don't want to make two trips here. Just going once. Want to write my thing? Write your thing. Going once. Sure. Crucible? Oh, shoot. That doesn't do anything, I guess. So it's pretty safe to say they have Counterspell, right? So we can actually probably play... Fascinating. Well, we're definitely going to run out of Tefri here. Because that makes us very strong. And if they counter it, we got Karanos. Oh my god, they didn't counter it. What is even happening right now? That is fascinating. <clears throat> what do you think the odds are they block here, huh? It's got to be low, right? Yeah, didn't didn't think you were going to block that guy. This guy's uncounterable. We're leaving ourselves open. We really don't have four spike. And I don't think, I think the risk of playing Karanos in, oh, I guess we could have flashed it in, right? Oh my God. Why do I always forget that? I'm terrible at this game. Just the worst. I mean, actually, I guess if they play an instant or sorcery, like this is, I really hope they try to counter this. <laughs> I don't think they're going to, but. Oh, good. They're going to get Lotus Veil instead of instead of the Crucible. Okay. Yeah, so, like, this kind of preempts them, like, so they can't cast. Like, if they go, like, oh, I'm going to Flame Slash or something, and we respond with Niv-Mizzet, like, we're not going to get to draw the card. So, I think there is um, a, a defense for, for casting Niv-Mizzet in such a way. Of course, if they have, like, Gilded Drake, it's not good. Okay, spiral. But I think I'm just kind of like fearing the Gilded Drake, so. <sighs> and you guys are really, we're having food chat tonight, guys. Pick out the papers and the trash. You should tell Mike he can buy a really nice smoker for less than a Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> I mean, you can definitely also tell him that. You have equally equal accessibility to Michael. Okay, one, two, three, four. Control magic. Seems good. Yeah, like we couldn't have stopped this with four spikes, so... Opposition with one creature. Hmm. Green sun, draw a card, shoot a thing. Love it. <clears throat> Bring in the dog and put out the cat. Yakety yak. Mike goes back.
Yeah, Mike's Mike's number should definitely be in the chat. You guys should all send Mike messages so that he has a bunch of messages to wake up to tomorrow. And then he'll be like, ooh, and I'll check his phone and I'll be like, there are so many messages. I'm so loved. And then I'll just have a little spring in his step all day, you know? That's good times, right? Yakety yak. Don't talk back. So they're going to draw a merfolk branch walker, huh? Oh, you didn't do anything. Interesting. This is very fascinating. Um, hmm. Just gonna go to combat here. <laughs> I'm sure they're gonna tap both my guys down, so that seems like the correct play for them. And then we're gonna go fiery confluence, deal a point to this guy, deal two to everything. Interesting. Okay, I guess I'll just kill you. <laughs> All right, weird. You, didn't, you have two things. You're not tapping to my lands or my creatures. All right. All righty then. All righty then. That was very wild. I was assuming that you would, yeah, you know, tap my things down because if that's what opposition does. Bring in the dogs and put out the cat. Yakety yak. Michael's back. I want to bring in pyrokinesis and bane fire. Every day is Michael's birthday. Yuggity yuck. Michael B's back. I do like this. Oh yeah, we're keeping this. We have force and snap. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. Give me a kiss. Also, if you guys are still looking and interested, you guys can check out manatraders.com. They have an amazing subscription service. You can get 15% off uh, the first few months. And uh, if you use the promo code and the link down below in the chat or the YouTube description, they have an awesome service. Everyone who, who uses them swears by it. And uh, I get a kickback if you guys subscribe. So it's a great way to support the channel and get a sweet Magic Online subscription service you didn't answer my question from last week will rob be doing i don't know actually i haven't spoken with rob i mean it's not like we don't talk we just have just haven't brought it up to him i mean i have to assume like it's it's a good way for us to catch up and like it's not super time committing so no well i don't have a counter spell here so i will play carries and then we have snap and disallow Plus, we have Gilded Drake, so I'm pretty sure we're in just the best shape. Okay. I hope you had a counterspell. Barkhide Troll. That's pretty good. Couldn't really do anything about that, though, unfortunately. Jeez. Good gravy. Well, we want a red... It's actually not terrible. Might as well get in there. Oh, interesting. Oh, interesting. I had no idea that was going to happen. Was it remove counter gains hexproof? Sure. Oh, don't cast that. All right. That's not terrible. We traded a bark hide troll for an electrolyzed they took two and we got to draw a card i do like a shardless agent 
growth spiral. Let's go into the garbage. Let's find out. Yakety yak. Put it in the trash. Just finish cleaning up your room. You might as well attack. Really? No attack. Okay. Well, we could fiery confluence for two here. I don't think we're going to do that, though. They have two cards. I just want to make sure they don't have anything great to play. It's really the thing. I don't know what Twins is, and we did watch the first two episodes of WandaVision, and I thought they were great. I think a lot of the people complaining about WandaVision uh, are people, they're kind of like numbskulls that just expect like an action-y, superhero -y show, and like what they're, what they're doing with it is a lot... Um, a lot more nuanced this is an interesting play hmm. if I had one more man I would definitely snap cast her into thank electrolyze you. kill this block this moon time dweller thank you for the reset buddy really appreciate it I must be one of those I mean if you didn't like it yeah I think so I think it's I think it's I think it was very entertaining I think it was uh I think they're doing some higher concept stuff with the first two episodes, and I think it's going to really lead to a, a solid payoff once they get to whatever they're planning. And I think if you're just like, oh, not enough punching special power movie thing, I'm just like, okay, cool. But like, that's not what the, that's not what it is. So, I mean, I really don't think it could be that slow moving because it's literally two 30 minute episodes and they also have like four minutes of credits, four, minute, four minutes of credits. So you literally saw like, 45 minutes to 50 minutes of show so it's really like how slow can it be if you're like not satisfied in the first 45 minutes of the show thank you neon tokyo what's up my dude okay I'm gonna be honest i'm pretty sure we just fired confluence here kill both these guys they have two cards we have a gilded drake for whatever they may play two damage to each creature and one to the opponent and then we can play spire bluff which lets us play next turn gilded drake and keep up disallow or snapcaster so it's actually pretty decent I always I always hear about people being like, man, I didn't know you were streaming. I didn't get any push alerts. This is a Gargadon. Ooh, a tight. Oh, wow, that's very... Wait. Oh, you didn't crack the land first to get it back? That's fascinating. Well, what can you do? I, mean, I still think we take this. That was a very good play, though. Hmm. Like, we know they have, like, five fetch lands, so I think them not having this is probably just way more important than them having it, so... Plus, if we can just play Dragon Master Outcast and then keep it up... Or keep, you know, keep our, our safety net up. I think we're actually in very good shape. We just need one more land. Which, there it is, but that's... Oh, man, the Netflix MCU shows are great. I mean, they can attack us for three, but then we, like, trade here. Mm. 
They have one card. I don't think this is worth having happen. Especially if it's like Ramunap Excavator and they can just keep getting like Wasteland. But that doesn't do anything, I guess. But okay, no, no cards in hand. Seems good. Oh, no attacks either. Okay. Okay. Well, without having the six land, I, I don't think it... I think it's just more important to play Teferi or... I'm just not going to attack here. Oh, man. Fabled Passage. <laughs> Dece. Land here would be nice. I like lands. I don't know if you guys knew that. Okay. I mean, we can still Snapcaster Disallow, which is really good. We can also Pyrokinesis. Man, this is this is a grind. I feel like we're in better shape though, because once we get one land, which is right here, Nexus of Fate. That is fascinating. I really don't want to take down Snapcaster Disallow. Oh, why aren't we just playing Dragonmaster Outcast at the end of their turn? Again, I forget. So, you know, Ugh. not great. Not great, Bob. Oh, whatever this is. is gonna... Nope. <laughs> Don't do it, Dad. Yes, let's disallow. Don't like that. Okay, well, now we can't play him, so... Six land. Wow, it took forever. What a grind. Um, it's just tempted to attack with this. I don't know. It doesn't really do anything. Is really the problem. And it's much a better. It's a much better defender against the, their five three. So. Oh no, Kogla. It's always Kogla. This is a this is a green sun scene? No, this is finale for four. Yeah, all right. I can't stop it. Interesting, they kept two up though. Do they know what they're going for? Questing beast? Oracle. It seems good. Change in their tune. No perfect. Lotus Veil. If it would enter the battlefield to untap lands. You're literally sacking your lumbering falls for that? Oh man, that does not seem great. And a Misty on top. This guy. Dragons forever. Land so we can Nexus of Fate. Sounds good. Now we're going to trade because we don't really have anything to lose here. Okie dokie. 3 0 with the deck. I was like, well, oh, the deck's any good. Turns out it's pretty all right. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to slam those like and subscribe buttons. Head on over to twitch.tv slash and be sure to follow or subscribe if you're able to. It's a great way to help the channel. I really, really appreciate it. And uh, it's, you keep me alive. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Counter all the things.